Hi everyone, today I'm really excited to show you how to run a large language model within a game creation engine such as Unity. I'm going to take you through step-by-step -step guide on how to set that up. Let's get started. First, go to unity.com website and download the Unity app. Once that is downloaded, go to the Unity asset store where you should be able to see the AI NPC engine. In the AI NPC engine, add to my assets, click that button. That will automatically ask you to sign up or if you've already signed up, you can sign into that account. Once you have logged in, then you should see that the asset has been added to your account and now you can open in Unity. Click the open in Unity button. It will automatically ask to open Unity. Now we are in the Unity projects. In there, go to go and click create new project. There you can choose 3D and then give a name to the project. Project 3 and choose the location where you want to save the project. And then click create project. This will automatically create a project for you. And now you can see the Unity is getting loaded. This is how the Unity interface would look like. Here, go to Windows and click Package Manager. This, this will automatically open the Package Manager. Here, you can see a drop-down menu where you can click My Assets. That's where we've downloaded the AI NPC engine. In that, click the Import button. This will automatically import all the necessary models and all the necessary configuration required. This will take about one minute for all to download. Now everything got imported. Now you can close the package manager. So the first step after importing the packages is go to in world at the top panel and click studio panel. That's where you can see all the list of packages. It will ask again to import, then click the import button. As soon as the import is done, there you can see the character the in-world scene and add player controller to the unity scene so i'm going to add the player controller to unity scene this will allow us to control and then talk to the avatar as well so i'm going to click that then it's asked load player controller i'm going to say okay now the player controller got added now i'm going to double click this character where you can see it's at the bottom in the project section I'm going to drag that character directly in my scene. Once after you place the model, then you can click the play button at the top. As soon as it, you click play button, you can see the character ready to talk to us. Hi, how are you? You know, sometimes I wonder if I'll ever find a place where I truly belong. A place where I can start anew and leave behind the weight of my past. It's a daunting thought, but one that keeps me going. So, here I am, floating in this vast expanse of space, searching for that elusive planet that could be my new home. But deep down, I know that in order to truly move forward, I need to confront the ghosts of my past. It's not an easy task, but it's one that I can't keep running away from. Oh, hello there. How am I? Well, that's a loaded question, isn't it? I suppose the short answer would be, not great. But hey, I've got my trusty coffee mug named Willa by my side, so there's that. How about you? How are you doing today? Any exciting adventures or existential crises on your plate? Can you give me a meal plan for today? Ah, a meal plan, huh? Sure, let's see what we've got here in my space pantry. Alright, for breakfast, how about some intergalactic oatmeal? It's made with stardust-infused oats and a sprinkle of cosmic cinnamon. It's sure to give you a celestial kickstart to your day. For lunch, let's go with a classic space sandwich. We'll pile it high with moon cheese, asteroid lettuce, and some tangy alien pickles. And of course, We'll slather it with a generous serving of meteor mustard. Yeah, I think that's it. So as simple as that. So start creating games with AI integrated into that. And leave any questions or comments in the comments below. And do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.